boys aren't lying, pinned under the debris. What if they aren't stuck, a mile below that innocent blue chop? What if, given the strong currents? Do you remember what good singers my boys were? Yes, I saw the medal. With some help, a good singer might make it to some island. It is quite possible that there are many, many microscopic islands that are scattered around. You're not just saying that about my elder son, Dina. Last year, he looked like you read. It is a parent's duty to hope. It is foolish to rule out the possibilities that is not yet being tested. I myself have not surrendered to hope. Vina is how old? Fourteen. He was just fourteen yesterday. His uncle and father will take him to church and give him a big party. I couldn't come. I wasn't given two weeks off. Well, a strong youth of fourteen can very likely pull to safety a younger one. My sons, through four years apart, were very close. Vinod wouldn't let me turn drown. I think, foolishly perhaps, this man knows important secrets of the universe. Things close to me. Relief spins me lightheaded. No wonder my boy's photographs haven't turned up in the gallery of photos of the recovered dead. to myself, why in my 20 odd years of marriage, why should I give positive to with my love? Oh anyway, Miss Shaila, do you want to throw some roses for your loved ones? But, I have, two. but I have other things to do. I got Dina's pocket calculator, Nathan's high painted model, B52, and for my husband, I wrote a poem for him yesterday. At least, finally, he'll know what I'm feeling for him. Today, I was stopped by a young sailor. He had loaded bodies. He'd gone into the water when the sharks were first spotted. He breaks down. It's alright. Thank you. I see a vast picture of the tragedy. The families awaiting dead bodies recovered. The men and women weeping for their loss. The depression, frustration, and pain you feel when someone or people dear to you are taken away. It suddenly occurred to me that my family has not been found. And so, I decided to come home to India. Stay longer! Canada is a cold place. Why would you want to be alone?
background. Why don't want you to give up things? You know, the dead iron cut off from us. One day, we went to an abandoned temple in a Himalayan village. As I make my offering, my husband suddenly descends to me. I didn't want him to go, but he left me with a thought. You must finish alone what we started together. After that incident, I decided to go back to Canada and assist Judith. I can still remember the elderly couple in Egan Court. Their words keep echoing in my head. God provides and God takes away. God will provide, not the government. Well, I guess everybody has their own beliefs. As for me, Kozum and Dr. Ranganathan, we continue to search the path that leads to the last stage of grief management, reconstruction. Kozum left for hard war to live in an ashram owned by her swami, while Dr. Ranganathan resigned from his job and left for Ottawa. As for me, a new life in a new country begins. But still, something bothers me. The thought Vikram left me. Finish what we've started. I try to wait, listen, and pray that he would return. But he hasn't returned to me. As I was walking in a park, I suddenly heard voices. I heard my son's and my husband's voice one last time saying, Your time has come. Go! Be brave! I suddenly have the guts to face reality now. I don't know where this voyage I have begun will end. I don't know which direction I will take. But I'm ready to move forward and continue living my life.